Hey guys, I'm Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist in the Seattle area. I wanna do a quick video on the differences between Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel and the gel cream. They look exactly the same, the boxes, everything, the packaging is just so similar. People get them mixed up and I'll just let you know my thoughts, okay? So let's get into it. boxes are the same size same dimensions everything is pretty much the same but just pay attention to right under hydro boost it will tell you gel cream or the water gel so the water gel is the og you know moisturizing cream that i would use in residency so i was exposed to neutrogena's hydro boost water gel in residency i really liked it and my wife loved it this was her favorite moisturizer for a long time and if you look at it, it's beautiful. Nice blue tint to it and smells nice, feels great on the skin, silky smooth texture. After a cleanse in the morning or at night, you can definitely prime this, prime your skin before applying your retinoid. But a lot of hate started coming out. When I started social media a year ago, I, re I recommended this and you know, a lot of people said, oh, I love that moisturizer or thanks for the recommendation, I love it. And then there were some people who said, this is awful, it's gonna ruin your skin, Neutrogena is bad for you. And I was like, what the heck's going on? And then I realized there's this whole thing about people hating fragrance. And fragrance, yes, there are people who are sensitive to fragrance, they have a true allergic reaction to it on patch testing. When I patch test patients, I do sometimes see people get allergic to fragrances, but not very often, but it does happen. And when you have a true allergy to fragrance, then you have to avoid it uh, as much as possible because you can get a really bad uh, allergic contact dermatitis, which can be swelling, can blister, you can get a really bad red rash um, that can take weeks to treat. Sometimes people need oral medicines like prednisone to treat um, the rash if it's really bad, like poison ivy, it's a poison ivy-like rash. So the water gel has the dyes. People say, oh, this is gonna give you cancer and such. They also talked about how this has the fragrance, it's gonna ruin your skin. A lot of posts about this, I actually was shocked. It has dimethicone, which people demonize as well. That's a silicone-based um, uh, moisturizing ingredient that may, helps um, your creams go on silky smooth, and this one for sure is silky smooth. It has glycerin, which is a hydrate, uh, hydrating ingredient, a humectant that draws in water. And it also has sodium hyaluronate, which as you guys know, is the salt form of hyaluronic acid. Great ingredient, also a great humectant. So just this itself, a great moisturizer, and I still recommend it, okay? But if you wanted to go and avoid the fragrance and the dyes, then you go for the gel cream extra dry, okay? And this looks exactly the same, except at the bottom you see ex gel cream extra dry, fragrance free, still the hyaluronic acid stamp there. This one's oil free, fragrance free, dye free, non-comedogenic. Open this up. As you can see, the blue color has been lost. It's just all white. Texture is a little different. Yeah. So you don't have the smell at all. Goes on very well. This also has dimethicone, it has the glycerin, it has the hyal sodium hyaluronate. This one also has beeswax, which you gotta be careful with because I'm actually seeing quite a bit of um, beeswax allergies. Propolis is what people are getting allergic to. So if you have a, a beeswax allergy, just keep that in mind that the non-fragrance, no dye one does have beeswax in it. It will definitely play nice with your retinoids, if, especially if you're a beginner because it'll be gentler on the skin without the additional possible irritation from the fragrance. So. You know, this is great if you want to apply it before or after or or do a retinoid sandwich with this, totally fine. You can apply this, uh, a layer of this, and then apply your retinoid over it, and then apply another layer of moisturizer over the retinoid if you're starting off and getting irritation. This is a good go-to for that, okay? So when I did a little tester last night or the other night, my wife applied it on one side of her face, the other to the other half, and I did the same. We did a blind testing. We both agree that the fragranced Water gel feels better after you let both dry for about five to 10 minutes. The skin just feels smoother. So I just, it's, um, it's definitely a preference. You know, whatever I recommend here is not gonna work for all of you, 
but it's just a, a way of kind of just telling telling you my subjective thoughts about this. My wife also agreed too, it was a blind test, and she liked the way her skin felt after this one. I don't know if the beeswax makes it a little thicker, doesn't blend in as well, um, but yeah, this one does not have that synthetic beeswax. I hope this video was helpful, a quick one. Just wanted to talk about those two products just to clear things up, and I hope that you guys have a nice day. Please hit the like button, please subscribe to the channel, Please share with your friends who are into Neutrogena. I like the brand and uh, I'll be doing some video reviews on their um, retinol oil uh, as well soon. Okay, so have a good one guys. Take care. Peace. What's the difference between Neutrogena water gel and gel cream? This question comes up a lot because the packaging looks exactly the same. Ah, the water gel has fragrance and dye. See the blue color? I feel like this goes on a little better than the other. My skin feels nice and smooth about two minutes later. Whereas the gel cream extra dry has no fragrance, no dyes, still with purified hyaluronic acid, see no blue color anymore. Our texture, but after two minutes, I just feel like my skin isn't as smooth as the other. Both are solid moisturizers for the face. Okay with fragrance, definitely can consider the water gel as a moisturizer. I don't have any problems with fragrance, but if you have a sensitivity to fragrance, you can definitely consider the gel cream extra dry. I know I'm gonna get some comments saying that the ingredients in this is trash, dimethicone is silicone based and it must be bad. We have to stop demonizing dimethicone. It's a great moisturizing ingredient. In these concentrations, it is safe. Hope this was helpful.